Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dante here, aka D1 with Moon Boy Talk and MoonBoyTalk.com. Today, we're going to be talking about how to flip your helium mining profits. I know you guys, some of you guys have been following the series. Um, we've been setting up helium miners like crazy. But before we get into all that, make sure you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell and turn on all notifications. You guys don't want to miss these videos. I'm not giving you guys like shill stuff or meme coin stuff. Um, well, every now and then, maybe a meme coin. But I'm not just shilling for any coin or investment or any of that stuff. I'm just letting you guys know what the real deal is with the money, the numbers and how this stuff works out for those of you who are looking to make money and make no mistake. This is about for me. It's about making money and less about the um, love of crypto, which I do like crypto. But I mean, it's it's about the money. Um, so, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and make sure you guys share this video. I'm only going to be giving you the good information here. I'm not going to be uh, telling you to get into any crazy projects or anything like that. All right. So now we have set up nine helium miners so far. The other helium miners that I mentioned that we bought on eBay at the inflated price, those have shipped out today and I'm going to be giving you guys updates on those. Something interesting happened with that transaction and we're going to get you guys all up to date when we get to that point. Um, and so I did the video. If you guys haven't watched the last video, uh, the 30 day video, the first 30 days of helium mining, I showed you guys how much we made. I told you guys some of the ups and downs we had. And so now I'm going to talk about what I'm personally doing with my uh, profits from that. Um, so let's go ahead and give you guys a breakdown real quick. Uh, we spent sixty three hundred and five dollars so far on minor and minor equipment. Um, we also did the down payment on the house, the property. We went over this in the 30 day video. Uh, so, so far we've spent 6305 10 out of pocket on helium miners and another 50. What is this? 53 or uh, 40, no, 53,400 um, in down payments and the rest will be mortgage payments. All right. So now moving down into here. Um, so for the month of November, this was the first 30 days um, that occurred in the month of November, we brought in $1,721.53, which the difference between uh, this number here, 6305.10, and what we made is 45. So we're actually minus. Hold on, let me put a minus. Oh, that's a PDF. So I'm going to put a minus there next time. Um, so that way we can that we can keep up with um, how much profit we're making back. So let me see here. Give me one second to. All right. <laughs> so now for December, um, we're also going to keep track. So let me finish up November. We did do forty one point zero nine H N T uh, for the month of November, which I think was pretty good um, because we were learning the the system uh we're learning about heights and antennas and you know stuff like that so i believe that this month coming up december is going to be a lot better um and again for those of you looking at the date it is november 29th um we ended our first 30 days on the 27th so on the 27th of the month we're going to be bringing you, you guys these updates all right so over here i put in how much each miner brought in um and you guys can go pull these miners up if you want to and look at them individually. But our biggest one was short glossy ostrich at twenty two point four eight one helium for that first 30 days. And I believe that was the first one or the second one that got set up. Um, let me see. The next one was slow stone woodpecker at five point eight four zero helium. And number three was savory honey caterpillar at 3.092. Now, also remember, not all of these were up for a full 30 days. So this next video coming in December will be the first video where we have um, at least nine miners up for a full 30 days. So definitely you want to subscribe so you don't miss those numbers because they're going to be bigger than these numbers right here. So and here here's where we get down to what I want to talk about um, and focus on. Let me close this real quick. All right. So what do you do with your money after you make your money from mining helium? 
Some people choose to sit on the helium. Um, I personally kept 10% in. So these calculations are after um, me taking out 10% and stacking that helium uh, because you never know. The price of helium might go up. I actually like the helium project, which is why I invested so much into it uh, up front um, and then started to tell people about it, which is why D2 got in on it. D2 was skeptical. Um, just being honest, he was skeptical at first, but now he's um, definitely on board with helium mining um, after he's you know had a chance to handle the antennas, the devices, set some stuff up, learn some stuff. Um, I was a bit more optimistic just by watching the videos. He's a bit more down to earth and takes some convincing. So we kind of we balance out. I'm, I'm a little more um, trigger happy than he is when it comes to investing in new projects. So now we're both on the same page with this. So with this round of profit, I took one hundred and forty one dollars. Now, the reason these are going to be different is because of the transfer fees. Not sure why I chose to do it this way. Um, but I transferred to other exchanges using Bitcoin. Uh, but for the future, I'm going to be using Algorand. It's much faster and it's cheaper than Bitcoin. So I will be using Algorand to, to move money cross chain or, or not chain um, um, exchange. So that's something that I want to put out there just so you guys know and, and possibly for yourself. If you want to save some money and some time, Algorand is pretty fast. All right. So now. The first one, we put one hundred and forty one dollars into Harmony one and this got me five hundred and twenty point seven coins and Harmony one. We'll look at this one first. Let me slide it over. Harmony one is at twenty six cents per coin. Now, I first got into Harmony one when it was under a penny. And so I, I happen to have one hundred and fifty six thousand of them. Um, when it started to get on its run. And so I did use a big chunk of Harmony One for the down payments and some of the other stuff you guys saw a lot of the expenses. Um, so I've been using crypto. Harmony One wasn't the only one. I did take some stuff from um, Cosmos, a little bit from Algorand, a little bit from Tezos, um, some Cardano, um, some po um, Polygon and a few others. And that's what I've been using to finance a lot of this. Um, I am against selling 100 percent of the coin. Um, personally, because I've seen it go up before and you sell 100 percent of it and you're thinking like, man, I should have kept some of that and maybe pinched a little here or there. So that's what I do. I pinch a little bit off. Uh, but in the case of Harmony One, I pinched off a big chunk, um, I think around ninety six thousand. I think I ended up selling. So right now, I'm you know, just over sixty thousand coins. I'm starting to rebuild. So that's what I did right here is I'm using helium to start rebuilding my Harmony One stash again. And then I'm going to be dropping some new Harmony One videos as well for you guys. Uh, Harmony One. The reason I wanted to do Harmony One is because when you stake Harmony One on their staking platform, Harmony One is earning between nine and 11 percent roughly. And so when that kicks out, um, you can restake it or you can send it over to a different exchange and that way it stays liquid. Um, so I'm doing a combination of things with that. I'll do a video and some of you might be asking, why not just stake helium? Well, from what I understand, helium has a five month cooldown period. And if you don't know what a cooldown period is, it means that it takes five months for your money to be available once you decide that you don't want to stake it anymore. So this helps with rug pools and other stuff like that. Now, on the flip side of that, Harmony One has a seven day cooldown period. And so in order to not have my money tied up for five months, because that's a crazy amount of time. You know, if something happens and you need money in an emergency, there's no way that's not to me. That's not a liquid asset or liquid investment where it takes five months to get your money out. That's longer than having to sell a house. You could sell five houses in that time if you sold one house a month just to give you some perspective. So a week is much better. Um, now, that's if you stake it on the Harmony One staking platform. Now, if you put it on Binance, uh, for example, Binance automatically stakes it for you. But the flip side of that is you only get one percent. Binance takes the majority of the staking profit. So you only get about one percent and they pay that out once a month. But the upside is that it remains liquid and you can move it around and sell it at any given time. So there's some there's some trade offs there. Um, so, yeah, Harmony One was the first one. Um, I went ahead and bought 520.7 uh, coins. And so those are going to be left where they are. Well, they're on Binance. I'm going to leave those on Binance. 
and let those earn because the minimum staking amount on the Harmony staking platform is a thousand coins, um, which I actually may move half of these. That's what I might start doing, because when those coins generate over there, they'll meet somewhere in the middle. Um, but moving on, VeChain, same thing about staking, but uh, VeChain pays out VThor token. And so you'll let it sit. And I got mine in the VeChain, uh, VeChain Thor wallet. I don't have them on uh, Binance anymore. Uh, that one pays out your staking rewards daily on, on the um, on the VeChain Thor wallet. Binance pays out once a month and they pay slightly less than what you will earn staking on the VeChain Thor wallet. So I bought 1206 VeChain. Um, I did tap some of my VeChain recently uh, for some expenses uh, related to acquiring the real estate, such as inspections and appraisals and you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I did. I had a little, I think I had 35,000 uh, VeChain and I think I tapped 5,000 of those. Uh, so let me see. V chain is at 12 cents a piece right now. So yeah, I tapped about 5,000 of those. And then recently I'm, I'm going to be doing some V chain videos, bought some uh, V chain NFTs recently. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of that. Um, but V chain, like I said, pays out in V Thor token. So you do earn a um, percentage or a, um, what do we call it? Uh, um, a com not a commission. Uh, I can't even think of the word right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You earn on there. Let me see. I want to say dividend, but it's not dividend. I have my mind in the stock uh, thing that's coming up right now. Um, but you do earn a return on your uh, V chain. Let me see. Die. Die is the next one. Now, this one is a stable coin that is supposed to hold its value about a dollar. Sometimes it dips to 99 cents. A minute ago, it goes up at a dollar one right here. So yeah, die. I put in one hundred and thirty six dollars, got one hundred and thirty three point four two. Now, a special note I want to make about die is that if you have die and you stake it on crypto dot com, you'll earn roughly 12 percent on it. If you hold your die on Coinbase, you'll only earn two percent. So that's something to be aware of there. And also Coinbase says there's no fee to exchange other coins into die. But it seems to me that when I when I exchange a certain amount of um, anything into die, it, it almost seems as if I don't get back the same amount that I've staked or, or that I've that I've exchanged. Um, so just keep that in mind. Staking rewards. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of. Harmony one V chain die. They all pay out staking rewards. So again, die is about two percent on Coinbase and about 12% on crypto.com. Those numbers will change. So do your research yourself. So as you can see, the first three coins that I've mentioned all earn more coins or staking rewards, which means your money is literally making money for you. Now, I know that sounds obvious to a lot of you out there listening, but for those of you new to crypto, though, that's who I'm talking to when I give you guys some of this information uh, for those that might not know. Algorand is next. Um, let me see. Did I close die? I'm gonna close die. It's at a dollar one right now. Just so you guys know uh, where it's at. It'll probably dip back down to a dollar, but it usually holds its value close to that. Algorand is next. And I did uh, one hundred and thirty six dollars. Got got me eighty point five six Algorand. Algorand works the same way. It, it the, pays out your staking rewards daily on Coinbase. I believe it's paying 4.60% and on other sites, it's not paying much different. Um, but the workaround to Algorand, I'm going to give you guys the secret. If you want to earn a much higher return on your money, this is not financial advice. None of this I'm just telling you what I'm doing. You guys do your own research, make your own decisions. Algorand, I've been staking on Yieldly. Go watch my Yieldly videos. Yieldly just hit roughly 2.3 per uh, or 2.3 cents. And when when I started staking on Yieldly is well under a penny and I've earned over 40,000 Yieldly for free so far staking Algorand on the Yieldly platform. And again, if you do the math, you'll need roughly 8 to 10,000 Algorand to generate one Algorand per day. I know because some of you guys saw the earlier video, I had about 19,000 Algorand before they took off and 
you know, hit over two dollars. And then I started to liquidate some to buy other coins. And that's how I built a lot of my portfolio, uh, breaking down that Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, but Algorand staking it on yearly. Um, I only have about thirty five hundred over there right now. Uh, not thirty five hundred dollars, thirty five hundred Algorand. And it earns about a hundred yearly a day at its current price. That's two dollars and thirty cents. Now, in contrast, if you wanted to earn two dollars and thirty cents in Algorand per day by leaving it in the Algorand wallet or on Coinbase or wherever you leave it, um, you would have to have roughly eight to ten thousand Algorand to earn that same amount of money. Uh, so you guys can check out my yieldly videos and and see what I'm doing over there. Um, I talk a lot. I talk a lot about yield farming, even though I don't use the term a lot. But Algorand is at a dollar seventy seven per coin. So I did get eighty point five six of those. Cosmos, Cosmos uh, put one hundred and thirty-six dollars in the Cosmos. Got four point nine zero Cosmos. Same thing. Cosmos is a proof of stake coin. It's at twenty-eight dollars and twelve cents now, and I believe the Cosmos reward is around five percent, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on Coinbase. It may be more than that. Check uh, Crypto.com as well and kind of compare the different um, exchanges and there are links to these exchanges in the description so if you guys want any kind of um, sign up bonuses make sure you check the description for that make sure you guys like this video don't forget like the video thumbs up subscribe all that stuff all right so let's keep moving so cosmos is at 28 12 4.9 cosmos tezos is one i like put 136 into that got 28.73 tezos and tezos is also a proof of stake coin five dollars and fifty two cents per coin right now and i believe tezos is at four point six zero percent apy on coinbase as well um not a hundred percent sure um so what you guys have seen right here so far and let me go ahead i forgot to pull this up but i'll do it now because that is another one that i got into this weekend all right so what you guys have seen so far these are all proof of stake coins and what they're meant to do is to create sort of a printing press so i use the miners to get h and t i convert i use basically h and t to mine these proof of stake coins and then i buy these coins and then these coins generate more coins so basically um these generate pa truly passive income i don't have to monitor them or take care of them the miners are semi-passive in, uh, income because you do have to um, set them up you do have to maintain them and you may have to do occasional maintenance or moving or whatever so that's semi-passive uh, but the goal is to create a fully passive uh, income stream uh, via crypto and again these right here there are more proof of stake coins than just these but these are the ones that I invested in this time. Now, Gala or Gala or Gala, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I put in 136, got 201.54 coins. Now, this is a project I'm very optimistic about. This is a gaming platform. And you guys that know that Meta and all those are taking off. Um, some of you watch my video. I'm going to do a video on Sandbox. Um, I invested in Sandbox when it was at 39 cents. And let me pull up Sandbox right now. I caught Sandbox when it was at 39 cents. I'm not going to get too much in the sand now. And now it's over seven dollars and nine cents. So I did make a pretty nice profit on Sandbox. The only thing I regret is not buying more coins at the time. So Gala, uh, I got into Gala at 35 cents. I put a big chunk of money in at 35 cents. Um, literally the next day um, it doubled. Uh, let me see in the last week. It just jumped up out of nowhere. Where was it at? It was at 35 cents when I caught it. And let me see. When did I catch it? I caught it back here somewhere. Yeah, I caught it back here somewhere around 35 cents. I'm not sure where it is on this thing. But then all of a sudden it just jumped up and then it kept going and kept going and kept going. Um, so I think it was probably somewhere near here where I bought in. Somewhere near here. And bam jumped up and it just kept going so anyway i put i put more money in the gala or, or gala gala however you want to pronounce it uh, i got 201.54 coins now this is not a proof of stake coin um but as the metaverse starts to grow and more of the more of these gaming platforms start to participate and get invested in um the price of these coins are going to skyrocket and like i said i got into 
um, sandbox at 39 cents because I read the, the project, read the white paper, and it looked like a good project. So I got in and now it's over $7 per coin. This time I said I'm not going to make the same mistake. So I did buy a bunch of Gala. I think I have over 1,500 of them. Um, so yeah, I only bought 700 sandbox, unfortunately, but <laughs> I did hold on to it. So now Gala, I do have a double that. All right. So now, um, let me close this down and car payment put 136. I decided that I was going to tackle one of my debts. Um, and so I'm going to tackle a debt every time I cash out, uh, H and T. Um, so my car payment, I want to get rid of that as fast as possible. So this time around, I put $136 into the principal. Uh, for those that don't know how money works, th the car dealership place will tell you to to pay extra and pay down your interest first. So that way, more of your money goes to principal. That is because they are working for the dealership. In reality, you want to pay off your principal as fast as possible, not your interest. The interest is their profit. The principal, once it's down to zero, they can't charge you any more interest. They can't charge you interest on principal that doesn't exist. So once you pay down, say this like 136, they can no longer charge me interest on that $136 at all anymore because it's paid off. And so I want to pay this down as fast as possible. So in addition to my regular car note, uh, I'm going to be putting extra money into getting my car paid off. Um, we're going to be talking more about other finances and stuff like that and why the interest you get on most cars doesn't even matter. On most things doesn't even matter if you plan to pay more than the minimum payment. All right. And then 136, I put directly into my pocket. Um, so there's nothing there. So on my car, I still owe forty two thousand nine hundred thirty dollars and six cents. So we'll see how much that number changes. All right. So now the money in my pocket, of course, I don't count that as an investment. That's why it's red. The money towards my car. That's why that's red. These are things. This is money I can't get back once I spend it. Um, these right here. Um, real quick, for those of you who are wondering, did he save any of it? I use crypto and the stock market as my savings account. I'll say that again. I use crypto in the stock market as my savings account because crypto is mostly liquid. Um, I keep most of my crypto somewhat liquid. Um, some of it's not. Like I said, Harmony One is a seven day cool down period. Uh, but, you know, keeping money in savings, it's an automatic loss. You're going to lose due to inflation every year, no matter what you do, um, as long as it's sitting there and money that's sitting there, it, it goes away and finds somebody else that knows what to do with it. And the bank most times is lending your money out, making money on it, giving you that little tiny, you know, pennies on the dollar that you get while they're making multiple dollars on your dollar. And you're losing those pennies plus some more pennies due to inflation. So the bank uses your money to make money and then you lose money by putting your money in the bank. It's just how it works. So if you understand money, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Now I want to get into the stocks that I bought. Um, cause again, the, the goal here is to have my money generate money. Um, this is passive income. Some of you know that I'm into real estate. Um, I actually own real estate and I'm into real estate via the stock market. Now, broad mark cap, broad, uh, broad mark realty capital. I put in $68. So I split this $136 into two. Um, I bought 7.1585 shares of broad mark realty capital capital and yes you can buy fractions of shares just like you can buy fractions of crypto and for those that don't understand how stocks work but you understand crypto or for those of you who don't don't understand crypto but you understand stocks i'm going to make the link for you um this is imagine this as a proof of stake coin this pays out a dividend just like the proof of stake coins so if you understand a stock and how dividends work, then you understand crypto and how proof of stake works. You make money just by owning it. And so if you understand one, you can understand the other. So Broadmark Realty Capital right now, the price is at nine dollars and twenty seven cents a share. I've been investing heavily in this, mostly because this one pays out the dividend monthly. There's an annual dividend of eight point six one percent. So because this pays out monthly, um, I wanted to get I wanted to get into it and take advantage of the compound interest. Now I'm just scrolling down here real quick, but let me see if they have a description. I'm not too familiar with um, Yahoo um, Finance. I don't use it often. Um, let me see the summary. Uh, basically, 
let me see if they have a quick summary so I don't read this wrong. I didn't think to grab the summary before we started, but that's okay. Here it is right here. Um, okay, now I know where they are. Broadmark Realty Capital Inc., together with, it, with its subsidiaries, engages in the underwriting, funding, servicing, and managing a portfolio of short-term and first deed of trust loans to fund the construction, development, and investment in residential or commercial properties in the United States. It also provides short-term and first deed of trust loans secured by real estate to fund the construction and development investment in residential and commercial properties. So basically they lend people money for projects and I've been looking at them for a project that I want to do um, for real estate. And so the, the loans are secured by that real estate that they lend the money on. Let me go back up here. Um, so I am invested in them. I believe they make up a big chunk of my portfolio and yeah so i wanted to get into real estate through the lending part of it and i get paid every month like i said a dividend now i also bought armor residential reit now these are not the only two reits i'm into i'll talk more about reits and stuff in some videos this this channel isn't about just crypto just so you guys know we talk a lot about crypto but we're going to be getting into some of the other stuff that we're into uh, we have our hands in a lot of things and most people have no clue um that we go outside of of crypto because that's mostly what we talk about um but armor residential REIT got 6.79321 shares again it looks like a crypto number because if you understand stocks you can understand crypto and if you understand crypto you can understand the stock market all right so let me close down broad market and go to armor residential it's at ten dollars um per share after hours is at ten dollars and six cents um they are also a REIT, as you guys can see, and their dividend is 12.05%. Again, 12.05%. I believe the stock market average is 7 to 8% per year. So this right here, again, this is, this is getting into real estate. Now let's come down here and read what they do. Armor Residential REIT invest in residential mortgage-backed securities in the United States. The company's security portfolio primarily consists of the United States government sponsored enti entities and the government national mortgage administrations issued or guaranteed securities backed by a fixed rate, hybrid adjustable rate and adjustable rate home loans, as well as unsecured notes and bonds issued by the GSE and the United States treasuries and money market instruments and also invest in other securities backed by residential mortgages for which the payment of principal and interest is not guaranteed by a GSE or government government or or government agency. All right. So basically they they invest in residential mortgages and those investments are secured by the property itself. Um, so as you guys can see, these are just two of my REITs. I am invested in um, some commercial office buildings, industrial space, warehouses, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, the consumer end of real estate. Um, also, something you guys may not think of, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Um, Republic Services, which is a, a um, waste disposal company that that picks up the trash at a lot of the houses and apartment complexes here uh, where I'm at in Vegas and other parts of the country. Um, there are other ones too, but there are, there are many different aspects of real estate you can invest in through the stock market. And so I, I'm invested in a lot of stuff, apartment complexes, um, like I said, lending and, and other stuff too. Uh, I'm trying to find some landscaping co companies that are public. So, if you guys know of any, feel free to let me know uh, if there are any public landscaping companies that we can invest in on the stock market. All right. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys share. We got a lot more great content coming for you guys. So with that said, till next time, I'm out.